when Jesus entered he looked at the fig tree and the Bible said expecting fruits but found none number one what the spirit we will keep from the roots today please subscribe to the Demi fruitful channel is the spirit of disappointment expecting fruits he found none how many times have you prepared for something and it's never happened how many times have you expected to get married you have told people about it you have picked a wedding date you have told your friends you have gone for your measurement and it's never how many times have you gathered money to buy a land and you did all you could to see you could buy that land but as you are putting money together an arrow was fired on your finances you lost everything again how many times has your wife told you she's pregnant just when you are planning to rejoice she loses the baby the bible says she jesus expected he came happily he came with excitement child of god it is very painful the bible says in in proverbs chapter 13 verse 12 that hope deferred makes the heart sick it is very painful when you expect to see something positive and nothing came out of it from afar it looked attractive from afar it looked enticing have you entered a marriage or entered a business or entered a profession that from afar it looked attractive but you entered into it what you saw is not what you expected that is why people are crying people's hearts are broken because what they see in courtship is not what they see in marriage people's hearts are broken because what they saw from a fine business is not what they are seeing now they are disappointed they are angry their heart is a near me child of god nothing as depressing as a heavy heart when you are carried that's why jesus said come unto me all you that what and i what and i what and i will give you take my yoke upon my body upon thee for my yoke is easy is like many people are heavy hearted from their countenance you know they put up makeups is covering a lot of things because their heart is heavy a man saw me in canada he said sir pray with me i said well, i said tell god to take my life ah i removed my hand said, what kind of stupid talk is that he said, you don't understand he said the only thing keeping me alive is that somebody said if i commit suicide i'll go to hell he said but if but naturally i just want to go when he opened his mouth and told me his story i could relate with him he was in his third marriage and he's 42. small boy third marriage and the same thing the first one came in cleared everything he had second one came in cleared everything and he will do everything he said am i the one doing something wrong there is a spirit of disappointment how many times have you been promised let me say this if all the promises made to you since you were born have been fulfilled by now you will be <laughs> people make promises with passion and they they disappoint you with anger what 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 can't i have peace what the same person that was excited you are blaming them don't blame them now something they follow you If you're watching from any part of the world now something they follow you means <laughs> means <laughs> it means you carry follow come <laughs> he saw it he 
heaviness have you seen heavy people have you heard they say somebody's walking it just slump have you heard that before that's a function of heaviness have you had some people who slept and didn't wake up and so, no some of them is not demonic attack they are so heavy their heart stopped working the heart stopped working they have overworked it it shut down what happened to the man he said he didn't wake up what about the woman she didn't wake up that person went through a lot pain you know sometimes i i sit back and i ask myself it is very easy to talk about job but can we for a while put ourselves in the shoes every time in church i go thank god for my children i sacrifice all of a sudden god was having a discussion with the devil about me i expected god to defend me i said don't go there god said go ahead ah what did i do to you well, number one me and god we have issue because lord you explained to me when the devil told you was coming for me why didn't you tell him don't go ahead that's number one i sat down job had he lost his animals he's lost his investment he lost his children job had five bad news in one day five bad newses <laughs> five bad news in one day he sat down number one he has issues with god he lost all his investment he has issues with life nature has not been fair to him he was sitting down on his own the wife came he said you know what's the need you're as good as dead because she needed to marry again obviously when the husband was sick she was already seeing somebody but she cannot marry except the husband dies that's the law the husband was the obstacle to her engagement she had bought her shoebi she has picked wedding dates but the husband was still alive so she walked close and said to him cause god and die so i can marry and job said you speak like a foolish woman he, you know what he said he said we have received good from god shall we not receive evil in other words when i was buying you car you didn't tell me to cause god and die when i built you a house i built your father a house you didn't say cause god and die say now i receive evil this is what you say now he had issues with his wife the first issue was with who second life third wife number four the friends came and the friends saw him the bible said they stayed around him for seven days they spoke and they said nothing how do you speak and say nothing seven days they were around him they couldn't utter a word from being a wealthy rich man they saw him as a security man by the gate scraping and scratching his skin seven days they spoke and said nothing it was exclamations hey he hmm. ha -ha. He? seven days after a while they look at him and say job we, we used to think you are a righteous man but for what has happened to you we know that you are a sinner you lost all your children you lost your your money your wife left you tell us what did you do stop hiding it what did you do job look at them he said miserable comforters are ye all he had issues with his friends what was the first issue god two three four so what is left at that point all he had was himself if people hurt you don't hurt yourself if people don't love you love yourself if people look at you and say you look horrible get out a mirror look at yourself and smile and tell yourself i'm wonderfully made 
am I speaking to somebody here? Don't let people's opinion become your destiny conclusion. Don't let the personal opinion of people become the conclusion of your life. Am I speaking to somebody here? Many of us have gone through disappointment, but one thing I want you to know is that God still has you in mind. God can never abandon you. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, I know the thought that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give unto you and expect it in Psalm 139 and verse 17. How great, how precious are thy thought towards me, O God. Great is the sum of them. In Isaiah 55 and verse 8, he says, he says, ah, 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 for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts than your thoughts, and my ways than your ways. I want you to understand something. Man may have failed you, but God still has you in mind. God has a plan. God has an agenda. God has a purpose. God has a pursuit. God has something in his mind. I've taught you several times that my life should be a lesson to you. My life should be a lesson to you. I've had people walk out of my life when I needed them most. I've had people who I depended, who I looked up to, who I felt to be around when the chips had done walk out of my life. I've had pastors. But I refused to walk out of myself. I told myself I'm going to live strong to prove my enemies wrong. 95% of those who did what they did, now they just call me, they are no more relevant to my life. Because other people have taken over their positions. Am I talking to somebody here? I don't bother. I don't bother. There's something I've learned. I learned it from my father, my biological father. If you avoid me with one mile, you want to avoid me with one mile, I will put nine for you to make it ten. If you avoid me with one mile, I will help you add nine. I will help you very well to stay very far to teach you how to avoid. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Someone said to me, Papa, you have not asked after me. I said, when did you ask after me? I don't understand. Did you ask after me? Friendship is by choice. Stop imposing yourself on people who don't deserve it anyway. Am I coming to somebody here? Yeah? Papa, I don't know what the Bible says. What does the Bible say? Do you know the Bible? I'll tell you what the Bible says. Love your neighbor as not than yourself. Love yourself first. The degree to which you love your neighbor should be on the platform of how you love yourself. So that's the problem you have. And that's why we, our hearts get broken. Nobody can break your heart if you love yourself. I need you to get get this in your spirit many of us allow disappointment break us down somebody just did this to you you are down you are crying you are weeping your life is planned by god anybody who messes up today is not qualified for your harvest so god took them before the day of harvest am i talking to somebody here god took them out before the day of harvest god took them out before the day of increase god took them out before the day of plenty so that when the day of greatness come only those who qualify for it can taste it live strong to prove your doubters wrong live strong to prove your doubters wrong i wish i was saying something live strong improve your life develop your life don't let your opposers meet you where they left you don't let your opposers meet you where Talata, ika tatalata, ete gete gete gete, abaraka si kataya. If you are a member of OFM worldwide, one of the things I will do is I will stretch you. I will stretch your life, eh? Your your step will double. 
I don't believe in working. I will so stretch you that what what your your your, your long term plan will become your short term plan. What the, what you have to do for five years, I will compress. No, there's another word. Eh? Constrict. Yeah, it will become five months. The plan you had for five years, I will squeeze it into five months. That I will so stretch you. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, great men are men who are ready to shrink shrink the plans that others have for a lifetime into a short while and achieve it. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yeah? Don't be disappointed. How would you feel when you are Joseph who was 12 years in prison for an offense he did not commit? 12 years! And at the end became prime minister. And the person that put you in prison was under you. You know what some of us will do first? <laughs> hey. Potiphar's wife is in trouble. David, Joseph was in prison for 12 years. Learning forgiveness. Now, let me shock you. Do you know he was so hot when he saw his brothers? He first put them in prison for three days. That's for you to know that the guy, the human nature in him, he first of all put them in prison for three days so you guys are the one that put me in this mess i forgive you no but you still see small paper forgiveness is not memory loss forgiveness is not amnesia you people would, would know what it means you put me in the pits for three days to stay in prison for three years for three days too and know what it feels like you must learn how to handle disappointment because whether you like it or not whether you pray or not it will come but how do you handle it lift your right hand say my father my father i can't hear you at all the yoke of disappointment die from the roots take your seat the next thing that must die from the roots we handled it last sunday is the spirit of delay we have to kill delay from the roots the bible says this tree had brought out leaves but there was something delaying the fruit delay is a stretch in time between prophecy and fulfillment a stretch delay is a stretch in time between prophecy and fulfillment delay is a period of pending between revelation and manifestation delay and they have lied to us that delay is not denial that's not true if delay is not handled it can become denial he says satisfy us early with thy mercy early satisfaction brings celebration early satisfaction is what empowers relaxation when you marry early you are still young your children become like your mates that's the benefit of early marriage that a man is in his late 40s his children are in their 20s am i talking to somebody here my father had me in his 20s am i correct sir he had me in his late 20s so so now we talk like friends imagine him having me in his late 30s or late 40s or 50s <laughs> Just imagine Abraham buying baby food at a hundred. Changing diapers and pampers at age 100. Am I talking to somebody here? When you are working, some of you parents are privileged to have gotten that, 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 you know, in the days of our fathers and mothers. Now when you are working, they ask you, is that your sister? They say, no, it's my daughter. He. It doesn't happen to some parents here. Yeah? Says that you're saying no, so it says my daughter. He, your door. Your door. 
water wow because it came on time just imagine if it comes when you're in your 50s that is one of the reasons i pray for you i pray for you by the power of god everyone under the sound of my voice i kill delay from the root i keep delay from the root i keep delay from the root i keep delay from the root no more delay in your life no more delay in your life somebody said delays die from the root delays die from the root delay 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 it in proverbs 23 verse 18 surely there is an end and the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off in psalm 119 verse 126 he said lord it is time for thee to walk it is time for thee O lord to walk in psalm 102 verse 13 thou shall arise and have mercy on zion yea the time to favor her yea the set time is come thou shall arise and have mercy on johnson for the time not you me thou shall arise and have mercy on johnson suleiman for the time to favor johnson suleiman not you me me for the time to favor johnson suleiman yea the set time has come in esther chapter 2 if you read verse 15 ayanama he said now when the turn of esther was come life is turn by turn nigeria limited it doesn't matter whose turn it has been i thank god for lord lugard i thank god for jaja of opobo i thank god for nana of Ishakiri. i thank god for thomas edison i thank god for the right brothers i thank god for mongo park i thank god for christopher columbus i thank god for all the great people i thank god for thomas f jefferson i thank god for john f kennedy but it is your turn to reign you are making the next history you are breaking the next record i say you are breaking the next record your generation will hear your voice i see your generation will hear your voice your nation will hear of you your nation will hear of you i was seated on my own and somebody sent me a message we want to talk to you i said who are you guys they said we need you to forward that information we, we, are, we are from europe i'm not going to call the name of the country he said we want to name one of our major expressway after you we want to name that road after you i said to them i'm not interested they say you must be interested because there is someone who had cancer who was close like a sister to the chancellor that came to your meeting and cancer left and we decided to name that massive area in that part of europe as johnson suleiman way i am from afro bombe i am from one place in Aochi. i was not a prophet or a professor but when god picks up a person when god picks up your life when you follow this god when you make up your mind to walk with this god he can pick you up the bible says in matthew 20 16 matthew 19 30 the first shall become the last the last shall become the first it doesn't matter who has looked down on you it doesn't matter who has despised you my god will change your story my god will change your story 
My God will change your story. Somebody said, Delay! Delay! Die from the roots. Delay! Delay! I don't know about you, but there are some things that must happen in my life. December 31st will not come until I achieve it. Say, Delay! Die from the roots. Delay! Delay! Die from the roots. 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 Somebody shot fire. Take your seat. Number three, and then I will pray. We are going to pray this morning. We will pray. Are you ready? We will pray. <laughs> we are going this morning. We will pray. Some things must break forth. <laughs> you see, do you know that delay can bring compromise? When a man waits for a long time, that's what happened in Exodus 32. From verse 1 he said when the man moses delayed in coming the children of israel said to aaron make us gods do you know that god dealt with them god granted the golden calf and gave them to drink gave them to drink you drink what you worship jesus said to them when they asked for one to be on this left the other on the right he said can you drink of the cup you drink what you worship you take in anything you worship. Delay. Delay. Why would the enemy? The enemy knows as a young lady that the more time praying and praying for the future partner, you can't focus on working for God. He knows if you get married on time, you'll be true with child bets and you start going out for soul winning. He knows if you get married on time, you'll be true with raising up kids. And you start going out to win souls. I pray for you today. Whether you are a young man or a young lady, anything that the enemy has put as a barricade, any way the devil has quarantined your life and stopped you from achieving the very things that God has destined for your life, I prophesy that those barricades are out of the way those barricades are out of your life those barricades are out of your destiny somebody say delay die from the root number three shatter listen how many of you know that when you've been on a spot for too long it is delay no no the spot may appear comfortable for other people people are clapping for you that oh you are doing well oh that beauty house five years that's your achievement ten years that's your achievement that's delay number three jesus was coming with his disciples everywhere he went it was miracles everywhere jesus entered it was signs they saw him do things they saw him speak and things happen but for the first time he told them say let's go and eat from this fruit when they got there they found nothing i'm sure they were looking at themselves ha, he missed it this time ah i thought he's the son of god he knows all things this time he missed it he was coming the bible said happily come 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 you guys are hungry come let's go i imagine judas judas must have been talking to others say whether fruit or no fruit nobody's touching the money here if, you, if, you, if now there's no fruit you are going to ask me to withdraw money for 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 lunch nobody is touching this money i know thomas was there thomas you see me is what i see that i believe 
this time I didn't see anything so what was that disgrace what was that disgrace disgrace shame so do you know what it means when a man and a woman are celebrating four five years anniversary marriage no child do you know the disgrace the shame when somebody says uh, I was trying to go to school but I, I couldn't finish the pain of poverty is not the scarcity is the disgrace how many car can you drive how many bed can you sleep on how many clothes can you wear at a time I don't understand how many houses can you live in at a time but sir why do people love wealth because of the honor the respect that's all that's why people love to be rich that they can sit down and money is working for them that's why people love wealth people love wealth because of the dignity the respect that goes with it am i communicating here the respect that goes with it Proverbs 14 is it 19 or 20 he said the rich man has many friends failure is an orphan rich riches have many relatives i wish i was saying this to somebody there are people that see a man who is wealthy they are smiling at him even when he's frowning they are smiling they are smiling why because that is what wealth attracts shame disgrace in psalm 69 verse 7 it talks about having shame on the face in jeremiah 14 21 was talking of shaming on the throne of the glow of his glory many of us are going through pain today oh my god in psalm 25 if you read from verse 1 psalm 25 from verse 1 unto thee o lord do i lift up my soul verse 2 say oh my god i trust let me not let not now do you know what that means you know what that means let me not be ashamed let not my enemies triumph that shame is the expectation of the enemy that's the triumph let me not be ashamed so that my enemies will not say we said it can i get another translation oh god i want to teach you bible can i get another translation another translation on that verse psalm 25 oh god i trust you i lean oh god oh my god i trust i lean on rely on i'm confident in you let me not be put to shame or my hope in you be disappointed let not my enemies triumph no I'm, I'm looking for something get me message okay message hey <laughs> i'm looking to you god no hand dog skulking for me this one is even more confusing very confusing message i don't know message as we are putting scriptures give me good news good news rosv in you my god i trust save me from the shame of defeat you know what defeat defeat comes after a battle eh? shame. so as you are walking every day and you are smiling and you are happy you wear something nice there are people who are angry that's what that place means there are people don't let my enemy gloat give me a rsv oh my god indeed i trust let me not be put to shame let not my enemies exult over me this is this is the expectation when he said let not my enemies triumph when i'm ashamed they have won when i'm ashamed that is why no matter what you are going through keep your head high 
keep square your shoulders brazen up keep your head high am i speaking to somebody here one of the things i do when i go abroad i dress well so that you don't think that a poor man has come to your country i represent myself well if you if you are looking of how to dash me money you change your mind am i talking to somebody here am i communicating here i saw a white man told me say i like you for two things you speak well you dress well he said those two things i like them that is why i always sit down when you pass i smile don't go there looking for help you dress so scattered and so shattered they're looking for who will help you who will help you when you are going for a job interview dressing is a pass mark you have no job oh, yet they expect you to appear well why they believe when you appear where you can represent the company and let me say this to you it is not new clothes or fine clothes that determines dressing it is confidence 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 you can be wearing one shirt and one trouser but your hands are in your pocket with with conf and somebody is wearing an expensive cloth and it's going like that and somebody went to bend down select and he's wearing a massive suit with massive shoulder pads and he's put his hand in his pocket you see wow this your cloth looks nice say thank you thank you thank you so where did you get it which brand is this don't let me tell you <laughs> then swallows your poverty Shame! in Isaiah 54 sorry if you are coming to this church for the first time this is how we do we chop Bible here in Isaiah 54 if you read verse 4 I've explained that to you he said don't let me be ashamed thou shall not be put to shame fear not thou shall not be ashamed neither be thou confounded for thou shall not be put to shame there are two things there is be ashamed there is put to shame i told you when you start your car in the morning at home and it doesn't start you are ashamed but you are driving on the express and the car stop you at the middle of the road you are put to shame when your wife asks you for money and you don't have you are ashamed but your landlord come knocking on your door before the other tenants you are put push when you can't give your child money for fees you are ashamed but when he's coming back with his handbag that they drove him home you are put to shame. one is private one is public somebody said this grace die from the roots said this grace from the root this grace die from the root this grace die from the root die from the root die from the root die from the root somebody shot fire yeah, 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 yeah. be on your feet when the enemy wants to embarrass you my god i wish i can tell you a few things when the enemy plans to embarrass you god shows up god shows up god shows up God shows up I was somewhere and um, there was a VIP session and there was another session for the government officials of that country that's where they stay when they come to the airport they put them there but the other VIP was full so I was coming they said sorry sorry you have to be outside you can't come in here and I had a long waiting time so I was in the midst of all kinds of people noise and i said oh god what is this now i sat there all kinds of rasta boys 
the VIP session was full. There was another session for government. So I was asking them, can I go there? They say, for what? Are you a government official in the country? Stay here. I stayed on my own. And two people were following her. And she passed, she stopped. She bent. He said, Papa. So I lifted my head. I said, How are you? He said, I'm fine, sir. I said, You sound Nigerian. He said, Which Nigerian? I'm your child. I said, My child. Hey. Which mama born you? How? Child, how? Hey. Yeah. He said, No. I passed through Auchi Polytechnic. You trained me in school. I can't remember. I said, What are you doing here? She got to the country about 10 years ago, got her papers, and she works in that session where the government functionaries are kept. He said, Follow me, daddy. Hey, hey. You will not be put to shame. <laughs> so I squared my shoulder. She carried my bag. I was entering. As I was going in, everybody in the VIP were looking at me. Ah, ah, ah. So the people who say you can't enter, look at them. It will do them. <laughs> so I just put my hand in my pocket. I just walked in. He said, What do you want? I'm coming, I'm coming. She ran. She brought a young man she was engaged to. Blah, blah, blah. They brought money. They brought this. He said, Sir, what do you say? No, no, no. You're not going like that. They brought security. I was going to the plane. And the plane, yeah, the plane was, was, so, it was so short. I said, Oh, God. I wish this thing was longer. It was longer. And I looked up. See, that tells you also to be nice to people. You are sowing a seed that will speak for you mind how you treat people someone sent me a video yesterday i said when i see this video i think of you i said what kind of talk is that i opened the video and i saw a woman a white woman who was to be kicked out of a house they were kicking her out of the house they said the house has been sold another buyer has bought the house over she said but you people give me till 5 p.m to pack my things they said no you have to leave when they were doing that the man who bought the house walked in he said, don't let her leave. I bought, I bought the house for her. The woman said, for me, he said, yes, I bought it in her name. He said, me? He said, some years ago, I lost my parents as a young boy. And I saw a woman walking down the street with her husband. He said, and I asked for money, which she gave me. And she gave me a necklace. He collected the money. He said, be good to people. He said, that little boy is me. And I remember you are that woman. He said, I sell half Saminto real estate. When I was going through to take over a property, I saw your name. I remember this name. He said, that's why I bought this house for you. To let you know that that little boy you helped years ago has become a man. So this house is your gift. How do you treat people? Listen to me. Be good to people, not when it's convenient. Make them happy. Not because you have so much. Sometimes I go out of my way to make people happy. How can we be building like this and I'm paying bills? How can we be building like this when we need money everywhere? I still stand to make people happy. Listen to me. It's a seed. You are sowing. When they were doing the empowerment, the empowerment, Pastor Stephen brought the bill to me. I said, hey, millions will not be... I said, let, let them pay. Let them do it. Let, let them be happy. Let's give them a life. Whatever you do to people will come back. If it's good, if it's bad, it will come back. When there are people that you don't invest in, they see you drive good cars, yet they are trekking. They see you buy good clothes, yet they are naked. They see you eat well, yet they are hungry. They are paying alone. They are complaining to God alone. Is enough to make God shut your door but when God knows you are a blessing no matter what people plan he frustrates them am I speaking here don't you plan against a person who has a good heart listen to me child of God I need you to understand what you do for people am I communicating here am I communicating it's time for us to mind the seeds that we sow mind the seeds we sow 
mine the seeds i look at my biological children and i tell myself that their future is secured because i've been a blessing to people's children i don't bother i don't bother I tell my wife i don't bother nobody can hurt them because i've been i tried to be good to even those i don't know to even those who fight me they come back i'm still good to them to even those who despise and speak ill of me jesus said in luke 16 i think verse 2 or john 16 2 i can't remember he said you come to a pass that those that kill you we think they are doing god a service are you listening to me the way we treat people the way we treat people are acting as if there's no tomorrow somebody will tell me say why are you chatting with teenagers why are you chatting with children why are you why, ignore them let them go and meet the head of the department i say you don't know tomorrow says so this teenager can be can be bold to face life just because papa and i are talking that may miss something to that teenager as you don't know tomorrow don't despise the day of little beginnings hey. who has despised the day of small beginnings when we started there are people that laughed at us we had we are in the council hall later i moved to bacha the people that will come here and they make me angry i'll just leave the ministry i'll be looking at them it's like a threat now imagine somebody leave omega at this stage who will not even know a man met me say pastor sorry i've not been coming to church for the past one month i say really he said you don't know i said i'm not aware but there was a time it was like a mockery there was a time i had to play drum me because drummer left eh? i had to play drum i was playing drum drum man come out for church there was a time i had to do praise worship mama have to do praise because praise leader left Are you following me that is why we made ourselves dynamic if it's praise oh i can lead it if it's prayer i can open it if it's drama i can act it if it's rap i will rap it if it's sing i will song it <laughs> don't be dynamic we're going to pray today am i communicating the first you are going to kill from the root is what the first is appointment no more disappointment thank you for watching udeme fruitful channel